Okay. <laughs> Here we are again. Here we are again. I hope there is some focus. Very side lit. Boom. Okay, welcome back to a new video. My name is Martin Botvidsson and I take photographs and hopefully you can learn something, okay? So today we're shooting something a bit special. It's my business cards. Do you have business cards? Well, you know, it's a very nice thing to have. And it's over here. You see this guy? And these are made by printpeppermint.com. If you'd like to check them out, you have the link in the description, of course. Very nice quality, this letterpress printing, you know. I want to shoot this and I want to show the texture of this paper and the printing, you know. So we are quite close today. I have my Hasseblad camera here. And as you see, we have a bit special background today. It's a screen. It's pitch black outside, coffee machine. Yes, we have a screen as a background. We will get to all this in a few minutes. The challenge here is to show the texture, the nice texture of this paper and uh, the printing, of course. So how to do this? First, I tried out a soft light. I can show you both a soft light and hard light. We can start with the hard light, okay? We're at ISO 50, the lowest, aperture 10, and the maximum flash sync speed for the Hasselblad camera, 1800. And what do we get? Do we get the black frame? Yes. The lights, the ambient light will not affect the shot. So now we can use the flash. You see this flash? It's over there. And this guy is shooting in a very side, side angle, you know, is almost exactly on the side. It's a bit in front, otherwise it will be too much texture with a small light source. I have a honeycomb grid, 10 degree, put on to bring out as much texture as possible. So let's put this guy on, let's take a shot. Boom, look at this texture. <laughs> this is absolutely fantastic. This is exactly what I wanted. I tried also a soft light, a big light source. I could put on a softbox on this flash over here, but we can also just take a diffusion material and put it very close. And let's try this without spilling out the coffee. And let's take another shot. You see here, now the light source is big, you know, cause I put it very close. The light, maybe I should put on the modeling light. So the flash is hitting this diffusion. And as you see, now the texture is gone cause we're using a big soft light. And uh, I don't want that. I want to show the texture. So let's skip this. You know, it's good, always good to try both ways. And let's take another shot. So we will come back to the small light source, the hard light. And as you see, we have focus here on the logo and back here because I'm using a tilt shift adapter and I'm angling it. Hopefully you can see a bit. This tilt shift adapter, or you can use a tilt shift lens, it's not going straight like this. I'm angling it so I can play with the focus plane. So I chose to put it at the logo and on the name, okay? I think this is a cool effect. Of course you could focus stack and the whole card will be in focus. But when you're using this technique with the tilt shift and you playing with the plane, playing with the plane, focus plane, then you can do fun stuff like this, you know. You put focus here and there. And you see there is a bit of blurriness over here, but I think it's fine because we're showing the texture a lot. And the paper I chose to go for 
It's uh, called Hanne Mühle Leonardo Ruff, and it's 600. The, the weight is 600 GSM. And it's made in Germany. Ooh, it's the good stuff. So we need to show that it's uh, the good stuff, okay? Now we have a nice shot of this card, I think. Get a bit of shadow play going on here because the light will hit inside here also. I think this is fine. I think this is cool. Yes, I want to mention that on this flash, I go full whack. 10, 500 watt seconds. And the reason I'm doing this is because I'm shooting, as always, the beam of light goes like 30, 40 centimeters in front of the card. So then we will get only the edge light that is touching, you know, to get the maximum crispiness, I would say. And what now? Well, I started to play a bit with the background. Instead of a regular background, I put up a screen, as you see here, and I just took a random sky. I thought this looks kind of cool, purple, orangey sky. And how do we get this sky into the shot? Well, it's very simple. You do change the shutter speed. The weak light from the screen will be registered in the camera. We need to have a longer shutter speed, you know. I tried a bit before and I found that one second will be good at aperture 10. But if we take a shot now, especially if we have the modeling light on, then you will see what will happen. We will get the background, but the light on the card is totally destroyed because we have this ambient light and that light will also go into the shot, of course. And the modeling light and it's overexposed and it's, uh, you know, the texture is gone. So we need to shut down all the light, okay? First of all, we shut, we will shut off the modeling light and then I will shut off the LED video light. And now I will take a shot. Now it's only the screen and the flash. Now we will get nice texture on the card with the flash and the screen, you know. Then I felt this guy. Is it really that nice? I mean, it's nice, but maybe it doesn't fit my card, you know. So I went into Photoshop and then I put on a solid, you know, a solid color layer and put it on. And I chose my color that I use on my logo so it will match a bit. And I put it on color mode over the sky. You see? And let's put this on and take another shot. And let's go dark again. Shoot. And I feel this is so much nicer. This is more my style. Yes. And what do we have here? You know, this side is a bit too dark for me. And also, this is a bit too bright, I felt. So I took a black card and I placed it on the left side here so it will block a tiny 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 bit of light that goes inside the car so let's take another shot it should be darker now inside here I want this to be a bit you know bit mysterious there. I think it's the logo that should be a bit in focus. And I see now I blocking a tiny bit over there, but I think that's fine, you know. A bit of light shadow play, you know. And the side here. I tried out a mirror and I tried to get a bit of light on this stone. Something like this. Modeling light off, LED lights off, shoot. And this is kind of nice to get a bit of light on the side there. But when you're using a mirror, this will be reflected 
like a mirror in <laughs> like a mirror yes it is a mirror so it would be like two flashes now and i don't like that and we get a bit of specular highlights because we're using this small light source how can it be like two suns two small light sources then it's starting to feel lit you know with two flashes and i want to feel a tiny bit like it could be the sun you know because we're outside with our sky so i skipped the mirror actually and then i just filled this side up with a I just placed a reflector here somewhere. I don't remember where. Let's try this one. So it would just be a fill, a fill card. Yes, yeah, something like that. Maybe a bit too much. You can back it up a bit. Take another one. Something like this. Just a tiny bit of fill so it's not totally pitch black. Uh, I think it goes better with the whole image, you know. So now I'm happy, but then I was thinking, maybe we should add a sun in the sky. So I went back into Photoshop again. You see that small sun I added there? It's just a brush, very soft brush in Photoshop. I just clicked once to add the sun. So let's take another shot to see the difference. And there we have the sun. Boom. Easy. Easy peasy. So if you'd like to get your own business cards, then you can check printpeppermint.com out. And if you mention my name, Botvidsson, you will get 10% off, okay? Thank you so much for watching and thank you to all the members and coffee supporters supporting this channel and all the subscribers. And if you like the content on this channel, please subscribe and hit the like also, if you like. And as always, I will see you next time.